Hey guys, you know what? We don't have time for that. Oh, breaking news. I'm so excited. I have to talk to you about this. You guys, dun, dun, dun. I have just won the lottery. I have just discovered something so crazy, so earth shattering. And you know, I don't clickbait you. So it's real. Oh my gosh. Ready? Can you sense my excitement? Okay, here we go. I was just, you know, looking for news as you do, uh, expecting to see, you know, typical me, 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 look at me stuff from Harold and Fraud as per usual. You guys, I found something. I found something. I'm freaking out. I found something and I can't wait to show it to you. My drunk goose club, honk, honk, everybody. Thanks for being here. Sure you're subscribed, hit the join button, do all the things, you know the drill. Okay, you guys, I was searching for news and I found this. Who's this on the screen? I'm sure you know, but in case you don't, this is Thomas Markle Jr. He's been in the interviews when, when they interview the family, he's there. You guys, you guys, he has a YouTube channel. It's the real Thomas Markle Jr. and friends. And if you take a look, he really doesn't have that many videos up, but there's one. There's one that I just found. It's this one. You guys, how did I not know about this? Five days ago, he posted, Meghan Markle turns 42. Just discovered this. I'm so completely obsessed with it. We're going to watch it together and react to it. I'm not going to play all of it because I want him to get the views and the credit. So definitely after you're done with this video, Go watch it in its entirety because he has lots to say. But I'm going to show you clips. We're going to react. It is a wild ride that I'm so excited to take you on. I can't believe nobody's talking about this. You guys buckle up. He has so much to say. Oh, I can hear the plates breaking in Montecito as I record this. All right, let's take a look. It's that special day again. This is your big brother, Tom, and a very, very special happy birthday to my little special little sister, Megan. Okay, I know you all know, but if you're new here or been living under a rock, obviously they do not have a good relationship and it becomes very clear as this recording goes on. From the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to reach down and sincerely say happy, happy birthday to you. And, you know, you're, I mean, you're, you're, you're just, you know, you're my little sister and there's just no, there's just no getting around that. And I'm your big brother you know, half brother, what, whatever it may be, but it, it, it is what it is. You know, we're always going to share the same daddy. Anyway, um, happy birthday to you. I hope you No, I can hear you thinking it. Jen, this seems nice. Why are you showing us this? Oh, oh, don't worry. It gets juicy. Hold on. You are having a great, wonderful day and a nice celebration. So I just wanted to say happy birthday. Ah, uh, psych, how'd you going? <laughs> See, I told you, fucking buckle up, here we go. Uh, 42 big ones, 42 big ones. Man, 42 years old? Jesus Christ, woman, you're pushing, you look like you're pushing 60, easy. Yeah, yeah, he's going there. You think this is bad? Oh, this is nothing, just wait. Also, look at his shirt. My God. I mean, what are you going to need? Like a facelift every six months just to keep up with your stress level that makes you look like that? Holy crap. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe what I'm watching. Oh, I hope she sees this. I need her to see this, you guys. Lord woman. <laughs> anyway, happy 42, Meg. You guys, he keeps showing this age. And believe me, he talks mega trash coming up. Do you think he's trolling her? Do you think it's that she's maybe allegedly not 42 like we all think? And um, uh, he's uh, repeatedly pointing to that number? Just a hunch? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Let me know. I just had to make sure that I did call you on your birthday or make you this special video for your birthday. I mean, since you don't, I mean, you don't even call your dad on his birthday. You know, like, Ooh, I mean, he's not wrong, but holy shit. Last month, two weeks ago. What, what are you, too busy shaving down your bunions? Oh my God, he just talked about her bunions. You guys, he just, he just brought it up. He went there, holy shit. Or taking a hacksaw to that hammer toe? I mean, come on. Jesus, 
five years now. No birthdays, no holidays, no hospitals. I mean, gosh, you don't even call your dad. Wow. And you don't call me on my birthday. But you know what? I have feelings. And that's why I make special videos just for you for your birthday. So happy birthday, you old hag. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am speechless over this. <laughs> and I got you, I, I got you the special cake, you know, but it's got about 62 candles on it because. Oh my God, he's trolling her about her age, you guys. I do believe that the candles represent, you know, more like how the person actually looks and their age is what they really are. So, I mean, 42, I mean, I think 60 is more appropriate, so. See why I'm freaking out over this? Don't worry, it's going to get worse. Stick with me, holy crap. Happy 60 candle birthday for you there, pumpkin. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I hope you have, I don't know. I don't know, when you look in the mirror and you realize that that's the only friend that you have is in that mirror, you know? you might start thinking about changing your ways, but I think it's just way too late at this point because, wow, you've done an amazing job. Anybody else completely riveted and on the edge of your seat with this and also dying to know how Megan would react to this? Oh my gosh. You've done such a good job going from having everything to what? <laughs> the most, oh, and I wore your favorite shirt too. This is, yeah. This is your favorite shirt, Boats and Hose. One of the best movies ever made, by the way. Guys, he's going there. Just wait. Thank yachts. Holy crap. Um, anyway, happy birthday. <laughs> Boat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk through this part because he just all of a sudden changes gears and he comes up with a skit where he reads from the book Spare, but he adds his own twist. This is the part that I really need you to hear. Get ready for this. You ready? You're not ready. Here we go. When I took a ticket for my place in line of 20 other men on the yacht, waiting for my 30 minutes that I paid $20 for, alone with the most amazing woman I've ever seen in my life. You guys, he just called her a yacht girl. He just said Harry was one of 20 men in line that paid $20 for 30 minutes with her. Is anybody else screaming at their screen right now? Because I am. It was that moment when I was working my way down to the galley that I knew something special would happen and I would meet the woman of my dreams. It was just the most amazing experience of my life. And I knew she was the one when we walked down the plank from the yacht back onto the dock. Guys, is this for real? Is this really, ha am, am I dreaming right now? What is going on? And the sunlight clearly shined through her bow-legged legs and made a heart symbol shaded out in front of her on the concrete. It just touched my heart. It was just incredible. It was a truly a sign from God, from God in the heavens. And I finally found my princess. Oh my God. He said it. He said, he called her a yacht girl. He said it here. I am freaking out over this. He goes on to pretend like, oh no, I didn't mean to read from that page. That's from a different novel. And he does more skits like this. Again, I want you, I want you to give him the view. I'm not trying to, I, I just wanted to react to this, but I definitely want him. He, it's his video, so go watch it. Holy cow. I was playing pool in my underwear with my friends, drinking, having a good time, surrounded by gorgeous naked young women who were not 42 with a black, heartless, evil soul that just ripped my life apart and ruined everything I've ever known. He just said she has a black heart and that she ripped Harry's life apart. Oh, <laughs> he is not holding back at all. Again, he goes on to do other sketches like this. These were the most juicy, so I wanted to bring these up and react to them, but go watch, go watch this video. Holy cow. The demon reptile snake 
and drained my very soul from my body, took everything and left me with nothing rotting on the roadside like a dead vulture carcass that had been run over by a truck and rotting in the sun, bubbling. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm not... I like I would not lead you astray on this. I can't believe what I just watched, what I just heard. There's still a few more minutes to this video, so if you want to see the rest of it, I showed you the juiciest parts. Oh my god. He called her a yacht girl. He straight up called her a yacht girl and talked about the line of people. Woo! And then Harry paid 20 bucks to get in that line. Oh my god. I cannot. I need to know every detail of this. I need to know how, you know, she knows about this. If she's crawling social media, she's probably all over it already. But, oh my gosh, I need to know if she knows about this. I need to know her reaction to it. I need to know if there's angry calls to Japan about this. Like, what's going on? Oh, the way they love to sue everybody. I'm surprised they haven't gone after him. Maybe they have. I don't know. But, Oh my God, that's nuts. I thought you would enjoy that. I'm so freaking out over it. Unbelievable. This guy is now a member of the Drunk Goose Club. Honk, honk. No, seriously though, I cannot believe all the stuff he said. Crazy, right? Absolutely bonkers. I'm here for it. Uh, now that I know the existence of this channel, I will be looking into more of his videos. Like I said, there were only a few up, so he really hasn't put out much, but I'll see if there's anything else juicy worth talking about. You guys, as always, thank you so much for being here and for watching. I can't tell you how much it means, how much I appreciate it. I love finding juicy stuff like this. Please leave me comments. I need to know your thoughts on this. How much are you freaking out over this? Because I'm freaking out over this. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. All right. This has made my day. You guys, thank you so much for being here. If you want to further support this show, I encourage you to check out the merch. Of course, we got Drunk Goose Club, Honk Honk. Uh, make it make sense. Recollections may vary. And check out Patreon. I got all kinds of deep dives coming up. This evening, I have one going up, a deep dive on the Beckham stuff because I learned more stuff I am excited to talk about. I got stuff about that coming up on the main channel here tomorrow as well. So check that out. Oh my goodness, you guys, so much going on, so much to talk about. Unbelievable. I'm kind of speechless over this. I'm never speechless. Thank you for all the love and support. You know, I appreciate every single one of you so much. Um, and I hope you have the best day. I cannot wait to jump in the comments and read your comments after this. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Okay. Hope you guys have the best day. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.